Good morning everyone, Justin here, and today we're going to draw another Pokemon. This time we're going to draw Eevee from the Kanto region. So let's go ahead and just draw his head first. And I'm just drawing the top of his head here, kind of squiggly, squiggly lines. And then we're going to go to the other side. And his head is kind of a roundish head. And I'm just gonna draw this kind of in a sketchy style. So the ear goes way out here. Kind of pointy, kind of like a rabbit. And the curve, bottom curve. Again, his hair right here, squiggly lines. Kind of show the bottom of his ear. And then we'll draw the line that shows the inside of his ear. Just like that. And there's some shading, some dark, areas here so I'm just gonna go ahead and shade that in a bit and then this part here as well just the upper part and let's go ahead and go to the other ear same thing so let's say it goes way out here we'll put a dot and draw the upper part and the bottom okay this one's a little, I drew it a little bit smaller, so I'm just gonna extend it because you can see the outer part of the ear here. And just like that. Again, the bottom, the base area is a little bit darker, so I'll go ahead and shade that with some hatch lines. And add a little bit of shading here underneath. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the eyes, just a couple ovals. So here's the right eye first. Let's draw an oval right here. And on the other side. Actually, I'll need to make that a little bit bigger. And we've got a highlight here at the upper left. All right, and this part's gonna be darker right around the highlight. So we've got this pupil. And over here then, let's draw another oval, kind of egg shape, but just a little bit narrower at the top. And again, we've got a highlight at the top, top left, and the pupil. Shade that in. Roughly, I'll just, I'll make that a little bit darker later. So then the mouth, Let's draw the mouth, goes right here, kind of curves upward a little bit, down and then up again. So the bottom of the mouth, then it's just a big curve that goes to the bottom, kind of shows a happy face. And the top part of the tongue, it's right there, so let's darken the back of the mouth right here. And just a little indication of his nose with a short line and eyebrows above the, the eyes. So let's go ahead and draw the shoulder coming from off this cheek. We'll go over and this part's a little bit hairy as well, so up, up and down to where his paw is gonna be. So his paw's gonna be here. Let's go ahead and draw a line for the top of the paw and then back down and his fingers are going to be right here. So we're going to curve up, draw the, separate that one finger, go down, curve, and separate this middle finger again, down. So he's got three fingers. So this is the last finger, let's go up. So now we can draw the back of his arm, well, back of his wrist that goes to his arm right there. Okay, so let's finish the inner part of the arm with just a short line right there. All right, so let's draw his chest. Going down from this middle finger, we'll go down and same thing here with showing some hairy details. Up a little more and then we'll curve, we'll draw a curved line right here. And then the other part of his a left shoulder then comes out 
and again back and forth line so now we can draw his left leg and it just goes out this way so go down over and then let's indicate the three toes like that and then taper out a little bit so it's a little bit thicker by the body all right so we can now draw the back leg as it comes out here off the right his right shoulder and arm so let's just draw a line that goes out and this will be his knee and back up and his left back leg then will also show right here and then his foot then will be down here and we'll just kind of show the toes and it goes underneath the knee and we'll do the same here so it's going to be sticking out behind this knee so let's just draw a line that goes down and kind of indicate some toes and then back up all right so he's got this big tail that comes from here out to about right right here and then back to the body right here so curve up first down and then up again to the tip so a big curve that goes back to the leg here and the tip of his tail is lighter so let's indicate that with a zigzag line and there'll be a shadow line here because this part's going to be a little bit darker a little shadow line here as well on his face and that should pretty much be it what I'm going to do now is uh, do a little bit of shading and I'll just stay with cross hatch lines like the foot's gonna be way back here so I'll just sh um, shade that in a bit maybe leave the upper left a little bit darker same here and what I'll do is I'll add some darker some thicker lines to separate some of these finer detail lines so here's the bottom of his face some form shadow right here and I'm gonna switch over to my sharpie now So what I did here is what I went ahead and went over some of the lines, varied the lines, kind of tapered some of the lines, made it thicker, and this just helps to separate his body parts and just makes it a little bit more interesting. So the head is very clearly defined from say the chest and this arm right here and his hand doesn't get lost just because I went ahead and outlined it. You can see how the line somewhat varies in thickness like here I left this part a little bit thinner and this line here gets thicker here and it's just a stylized way of drawing but experiment see what you think you'll find that you like certain things drawn differently than other people may but just experiment and draw a lot thanks a lot for watching me uh, show you how to draw Evie. So I will see you next time and have a great day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.